Um, as Sam said, it really is an honor to be here, and it's an honor to be endorsed by New Jersey Citizen Action. Um, you know, as we and and for those of you who might not know, I won't get into the whole backstory. But if you go to Governor Christie's YouTube channel and put my name in there, um, I, I I'm his biggest seller. I should get royalties. It's up to we're closing in. I think on a million five hits on, wow. on the video. And oh he God. actually, he actually, this is the, he uses it as his entry into his video, How We Got Here, that video that he's been shopping around. So, um, you know, but I was one ticked off teacher that day. And, um, you know, I, and I went across the street from my school at the, he was holding a town hall meeting in Raritan Township, and I spoke my mind. And here I am. So what happens when you open your mouth and if you want to go off? <laughs> But it really is, it's, it's a pleasure, it's, a, it's an honor to be doing this. I ran last year for the seat against Assemblyman Biondi. Um, as you all unfortunately know, Princeton is now, um, we have three Democratic, two, three Republican legislators representing wow. us, and that has to change. I ran for the seat last year and came within 3% of beating Assemblyman Biondi, the incumbent who had been in office for at least 10 years. He passed away two days after the race, and um, uh, the Republican Party appointed someone to fill his seat. So I'm running now again for the unexpired term. Um, my opponent has been endorsed by the Tea Party. It's a woman, Donna Jeez. Simon. And, you know, the New Jersey Citizen Action stands for so many great causes, and they are a true example of um, the, the progressive spirit in this state that does not, no, does not exclude anyone. Um, you know, liberal, progressive, Democrats, and organizations such as this, we welcome everyone. It doesn't matter whether you're rich or poor, man or woman, straight or gay, uh, abled or disabled. Um, it doesn't matter where you come from or what kind of job you hold or whether you can write a big check or a small check. You know, we take everyone. And that really is, is I mean, that's the spirit of, of this state and this country is that we don't, we don't, we are an inclusive state and we're an inclusive country and we don't reject people. And um, so, so I'm proud to run again. But what you need to know right now is that I am running against someone who is really voting against the best interests, not only of the middle class, but of women too, which is surprising. Mm -hmm. um, my opponent, there was a, a recent package of four bills that was passed in the state legislature that would strengthen the Lilly Ledbetter law. Governor Christie, I believe, vetoed three of them and conditionally vetoed one of them. Um, my opponent, Donna Simon, voted against all of them. Um, she has voted against funding for women's health clinics that provides um, uh, breast screenings, mammograms, um, pap smears. Um, she's voted against raising the minimum wage. She's voted uh, to pull us out of the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, which has cost us almost 1,800 jobs. She's voted to store fracking waste in the state. She's voted against um, funding for the Earned Income Tax Credit. She's voted against a uh, property re homestead rebate program. She is toxic, not only to this district, but to the people in this state.